Oh, the Legend of Korra series finale. God, there is going to be a lot of talk on that ending scene. I mean, all, they're already talking, and this is not going to go away for a while. Now, this is going to be a spoiler review. It's just my thoughts on what I thought about the series finale of The Legend of Korra. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts. I got to hear what you guys think about <laughs> this whole finale. Now, I'm going to say this. I enjoyed the hell out of this finale. I thought it was really great. It really did have that Matrix-style fighting towards the end with uh, Korra and um, Colvira. Do I have problems with Colvira's character? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, she was just a generic person, really. I mean, she did open up her feelings, and she was an orphan and this and that. At the very end, I felt like the ending was a little bit rushed. Uh, but, man, Milo's a boss in this episode. This is why Milo... Can we follow Milo for a little bit? Uh, Milo was awesome. The action, like I said, was awesome. You know, character, one character passed, and that was uh, Asami's dad. That was a good touching moment. He got squashed like a bug. Too soon? Too soon? Yeah, a little bit too soon. Um, Mako using his lightning to take out the, the pretty much the spirit vines and stuff, the reactor, whatever you want to call it. That was a great scene. Um, just everybody working together, leading up to that big finale, that big battle. Everything was everything was great. Everything was, you know, everything was on point. Like I said, the action was the really the bright, like just the center of it all. And it was just really nicely done. I still feel like I was missing something in the series finale. I don't I, I think we're not gonna get any more Avatar in my last video. I said that. I think they're done, the creators, and they're gonna move on to different type different, you know, different ideas, different things they want to do. So I felt like in the series finale, if you're, you know, if you're an Avatar, The Last Airbender fan, and you've been following this one, you're following this show because of The Last Airbender. So I felt like it would have been nice to see maybe, you know, the old cast. They didn't need to do it, but I, I personally kind of wanted it. And also, it would have been nice to see where these characters go, you know, from on. We didn't get like, you know... Uh, epilogue, so to speak, where we see these what these characters are doing, or see the next avatar. Is there gonna who's the next avatar? That would have been nice to see, but you know we didn't get to see that. Personally, that's what I kind of wanted. I felt like that was missing in the episode. Um, there were some things that uh, I think there was a few things that I was like, what? But I can't really remember what that was because I think all I'm thinking of. Is that ending and how many people are just going to be talking and talking and talking? How many comments are going to be written below? Uh, man, do I ship that ending? Yeah, why not? Whatever, you know. I mean, Legend of Korra is definitely not about, you know, where I saw it. They did a horrible job in pretty much couples. But I did love Varric. Varric and uh, Julie. I thought Varric is awesome. He's a great character. They really did a good job on Varric's character. And there's a lot of humor in this episode as well. Which I was surprised. But there's a lot of com you know, comedy in there. And I thought that was very funny. Uh, but yes. Come on. Let's just, let's just get down to the point. Korra and Asami. They hinted it. In the, uh, in the very beginning of the series. It kind of. To me it really felt like. It kind of came out of nowhere. We're three seasons in, and they're like, what? 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 This is starting. It's starting to bloom a little bit. But I wasn't against it at all. I was like, whatever. You know, that's fine. I, I actually, you know, you know it, they're doing a bold move, which I figured they were gonna start doing because you could totally tell that they were hinting that way. And what do we see at the very end? We see uh, really Cora, you know, saying, talking to Mako. Mako saying she would be there for Cora uh, whenever she. Through many battles, whatever, whenever you, she she needs him at this point, um, I thought that that those two were going to end up together at the end. But I guess I was wrong. But um, yeah, it wasn't a really a love thing that Mako was telling her. It was really just you know I'm your friend and I'm always here for you. And then we see Korra and Asami, and really it was more like a confession. Honestly, I thought they were going to kiss. So uh, yeah, those two were talking, and then you know you see you hear you know. The uh, Sami talk about her dad and Cora really thanking her and for being there for her, and it just you could tell that it was more than a friendship. And then you know she's like, "Let's take a vacation, just the two of us." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, all right, all right." 
So those two go to the spirit world because Tommy always wanted to go to the spirit world. They go hand to hand. They look eye, eye to eye. You know, everything's so romantic, so magical. There's, you know, capping off the whole series as a whole. I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm all for it. I don't, I don't, I, I saw it. I saw it. You could see it. And either you're on board or you weren't. And I said, why not? Why not? I mean... Do I think they handled it kind of great throughout the whole se- season? No, not really. It kind of came out of nowhere, but it's fine. I thought I thought that was a great, that was a great bold move by the creators, and I think I'm all for it. I'm all for that uh, relationship. Uh, it's, why not? Why not? Uh, the only thing I did though, uh, that's that's, but that's really what everybody's talking about. Is that? Is that? Is that one particular couple that nobody really, everybody's either on board or not? I, I, I did feel like they could have, you know, maybe they shouldn't have had at the end though, because that's real. That's what all we're gonna be talking about in the series. I mean, I got into the series because of, you know, the Avatar, the legend of the Avatars, and I just felt like, I mean, yeah, have that scene in there. But man, I, I really wanted to see kind of like an epilogue. I want to see why I love this series so much because honestly, The Legend of Korra doesn't have character. It's not going to hold up as good as The Last Airbender. It never will be. It never. It's not going to do it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted an epilogue. It would have been nice for an epilogue to see, you know, that, hey, just because The Legend of Korra is ending, that doesn't mean anything. The cycle is still going. So it would have been nice seeing the cycle still going, uh, seeing old faces and then new faces of course we don't need a show if they don't want to do it but it would have been nice to see you know just that cycle just to keep keep rolling but but they ended it on a bold statement and that's fine that's that's fine i guess i just uh personally i would have loved that you know this is the reason why i got into this show and why i love uh avatar last airbender it was because uh basically well if i remember the last airbender it was a happy family ending so that's fine but i didn't think there was going to be a legend of korra uh i guess i guess it's fine but personally i would have loved an epilogue but other than that it was a great series finale was it um is legend of korra as a whole a great series i'll let you know i'm gonna have another video on that legend of korra versus ang's avatar the last airbender uh, the pros and cons on both, but overall, you know, the last Airbender, Airbender was better, but I'm going to let you know why. Uh, the series finale, it, it's it's a little bit, you know, it's fine. I, I thought I'd be, like, you know, distraught, like, damn, you know, when the series first began, I really was into the series. I really just, you know, wanted to know, I mean, this is expansion of the Avatar world, but now that we're the series has finally ended, I think it's time to you know put it to bed. It's over with. I would have loved to see, you know, them complete the cycle of avatars and see their journeys. But if Legend, of, if it stops at Legend of Korra, that's fine. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of problems with the series. There's no denying the fact that there there is. I said there, there is problems with this series, and it's not going to be probably as memorable as people want it to be. But people do love this series, and I you know I do like this series a lot. I just didn't absolutely love it. But this series finale was a great send off. It was everything you really wanted: action, your, uh, the characters we followed throughout the series, a bold statement at the end. You know, because this this series has been. Just a lot of things. They they throw out a lot of adult themes. A lot of, you know, basically changing. Changes that we, the audience, got to get used to. And the characters got to get used to. So, uh, bravo for what them doing what they did at the very end. I'm all for it. Uh, but I would kind of wish they kind of established that more on the earlier seasons. But that's fine. Uh, let me know, guys. What do you guys think? I know you guys are going to talk about the ending. I think everybody wants to talk about the ending. Um... I gotta say though, Kavira, man, it would have been nice to see what happened to her and also uh, Betar Jr. and Lin and Sue, you know, and Bolin and his relationship with Opal. It would have been nice to see uh, what what does Mock do after, but they left it at that point, and that's fine. I guess that's fine. That's how they did it on the last Airbender. So great, great. It was great. It was a great series finale. Couldn't ask for anything. Anything better except those two personal things. <laughs> All right, guys. 
Please like the video if you like the video, and please subscribe if you want more. Let me know what you thought about the series finale. Let me know your feelings about the Legend of Korra ending. That's all I gotta say. And were you a Korra and Asami shipper? Did you see it coming? Like I said, I mean, I saw it coming. Uh, I mean, I, I was all in for it if they did it, and they did it. And they did it. Come on. It, you know they're together. You know damn well. Don't you, don't argue with me, people. And don't tell me that they weren't, you know, together at the end of the damn episode. You know damn well. But not taken away from the whole episode and the whole, the whole episode and the whole, uh, the action sequences were great. The series was, was great. It wasn't fantastic. So, thank you guys for listening and enjoy your day.